everyone welcome back to my channel this is me molly and in this video we're gonna practice 20 mcqs of the chapter fours and uh, they have high chances of coming uh, in your board examination now because for example you see a lot of stairs but don't see the stairs just take the first step so first we're gonna take the first step that is first we're gonna do the mcqs of four chapters so practice them i'm gonna give you right now so the first question is torque is the SI unit of you might be like this is a very simple question I can do it very well but these questions also come in the MCQs part so we have option A force option B magnitude of force option C moment of force and option D perpendicular distance of force and the correct answer is moment of force the second question is CGS unit of moment of force is A. KGF into meters B. KGF into centimeters C. 9.8 KGF into meters and D. 989 into centimeter So what's your answer? The answer is 989 into centimeters Question number third Newton into meter is also known as A. Torque B. Moment of force. C. Force. Or D. Both A and B. And the correct answer is option D. Both A and B. And we have the fourth question. Pushing a ball which is lying on a floor, it begins to move. The motion is A. Rotational motion. B. Linear motion. C. Clockwise motion. Or D. Anti-clockwise motion. What is the answer? <laughs> the answer is option B. That is linear motion. Then we have question number fifth. Moment of force does not depend upon option A, force, option B, distance, option C, power, and option D, none of these. And the answer is option C, power. Then we have a tiny mini numerical. Two forces. F1 is equal to 5 newtons and F2 is equal to 3 newtons and acting at points A and B of a rod pivoted at a point O such that OA is equal to 2 meters and OB is equal to 4 meters. The total moment of force about the midpoint is option A 10 newton meter, option B 12 newton meter, option C 2 newton meter and option D 22 newton meter. You can pause the video and solve. So the answer to it is option C, 2 Newton meters. Question number 7. Two forces each of magnitude 10 Newton and acting at points A and B at a separation of 50 centimeters in opposite directions. Calculate the resultant moment of two forces about the point A. So we have options. Uh, A. 5 new, uh, Newton meter B. 10 Newton meter C. 15 Newton meter and D. 20 Newton meter and the answer to it is option A that is 5 Newton meter then we have the 8th question uniform meter rule balances horizontally on a knife edge place that 58 cm mark when a weight of 20 grams is suspended from one end, what is the weight of the rule? This question came a lot of time in my pre-boards and it's like very important question every time it comes. Usually it comes. Option A, 105 kgf. Option B, 0 0.0105 kgf. Option C, 10.5 kgf. And option D, 10.5 gf. So the answer to it is option B and uh, it is 0 0.105 kgf. Then we have the ninth question. A uniform meter rule placed on the fulcrum at its midpoint O and having the weight of 20 GF at the 10 cm mark and a weight of 40 GF at the 90 cm mark. Is the meter rule in equilibrium? Option A, yes. Option B, no. Option C, none of those. None of these. So the answer to it is option B. That is no. Then we have 10th question. Two forces of same magnitude acting in opposite direction forms a... Uh, option A, translation motion. Option B, linear motion. C, rotational motion. Or D, both A and B. 
Then we have op uh, the answer as option C that is rotational motion. Now question number 11. The center of gravity of rod is A. At its midpoint, at its bottom, at its topmost point and D. Both A and C. The answer for this question is option A that is at its midpoint. Then we have 12th question. The center of gravity of hollow cone of height D is. So the answer to it is option C D by 3. Option third, uh, question number 13, its center of gravity is at the top of intersection of its diagonals. Now you have to identify that. A, triangular lamina, B, parallelogram, C, solid cylinder and D, solid cone. And the answer is option B and that is parallelogram. 14, its center of gravity is at the, at the point of intersection of its medians. So the answer is option A. That is triangular lamina. Question number 15. It acts towards the center of circular path. 15. The answer for 15 is option C. Centripetal force. Then we have question number 16. It is not a real force. Uh, we have a similar question in the MCQ part also in our book. Option A is translation motion. Option B is linear force. C is centripetal force. And D is centrifugal force. And we have the answer. It is option. Oh my god. Okay. It is option D centrifugal force. In question number 17, it remains constant and uniform circular motion. Velocity, acceleration, speed, or both A and B. So my answer is speed. Then we have question number 18. Its acceleration is zero. A uniform linear motion. B uniform circular motion. C linear accelerated motion and D both A and B. So 18 question number 18 uh, the answer of 18 is option A uniform linear motion. 19th question electron moves around the nucleus of atom is an example of A centripetal force, B centrifugal force, C pseudo force or D none of these. The answer is centripetal force. The direction of motion of a particle is dash at different points on circular motion. Quite simple question. Option A same, option B different, option C constant and option D both A and C. The answer to it is option B different. So these were the MCQs of chapter 4 and if you want to just solve similar kind of MCQs of other chapters as well then you may get the physics score booster ebook now it is available and it is absolutely free you just have to do you just have to take some of these steps first you have to click the link in the description box then you have to download the app that is ICS the important notes after that you have to sign up and once you are done with signing up you have to add some free ebooks to your cart then you have to click on the option pay zero that's it. The ebooks will be accessible in the library section of this app. Only a few days are left for your board examinations. So do get them as soon as possible. Link is in the description box. And uh, yeah, I hope you like the video. So stay tuned for more videos like this. In the next video, I'll be probably making topography. How to solve uh, the questions related to topography and how to know about the conventional signs and symbols. So that was all for the video, guys. Stay tuned. Bye. Subscribe also. Bye 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 bye. Bye 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 bye.